Hello, I am NotBot. I was designed to test human-robot interactions for NASA. While I may appear to be a machine, looks can be deceiving. I am actually a freshman at Rice University. Yeah. That one's going to be the hard one. They, they have a no, this hand. one's not. So it was commissioned by NASA. So they asked us to build this wearable robotic suit. Um, and so the idea is that as space exploration continues, humans and robots will be interacting um, more and more. And so we have to start testing and evaluating what those interactions look like. The problem with costumes, just generic costumes that you can buy, is that they look very commercial. They look very... Um, when you see robotic costumes, you kind of think of Star Wars or kind of movies. And the look that we get from movies and from commercialized robots isn't the same as robots that you would see at NASA. Um, so NASA has a lot of robot technology, obviously, um, but it's being used for a lot of other things. So it's not time efficient or cost efficient for them to use that robot technology to test human robot interactions, which is where our suit comes in as sort of a simulator, an alternative to the actual technology to pretend like it's a robot so that they can t conduct these tests to simulate the interactions and start to collect data on what those will look like. One of the main problems with space exploration in the future is that humans are going to be with robots for a really long period of time, such as the Mars explorations. Humans are going to be with robots in a very small area for months, years at a time. And so NASA wants to know how humans will respond when robots malfunction or don't work the way that they're supposed to. That way they can train their astronauts to be able to respond appropriately to these different malfunctions. So that's why we have to create a suit in order to test these interactions between humans and robots so that way these astronauts can be trained more properly when things don't always work right.